All right, hello everybody. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Citizen EcoDrive ProMaster Diver. Uh, this is in stainless steel with the rubber strap. So if you've watched any of the other videos on my channel, uh, you know that I dive quite a bit. And this was actually the first watch that I bought for diving. Um, you can find this watch. Yeah, you can even see all the uh, skin marks even after cleaning it from me wearing so much in the water. But uh, you don't actually need a watch when you're diving just to get that out of the way really quick. You don't need a dive watch, all right? This is completely a... <laughs> It's a backup at best, but it's vanity at worst, right? So it's purely on your preference and what you can afford, what you want to use. I love this watch. I've used it so much for diving. If you look at the bezel, you can see all the dings and scratches. And I have absolutely blasted this watch around underwater. And I'm honestly surprised that it's not more dinged up than it is. It actually looks pretty dang good for a watch that has been on like 30 40 dives so this watch is great um a great part about this watch that some people in the watch community don't seem to like for some reason is that it's obviously quartz you can see it ticking so it keeps really great time i actually haven't picked this watch up in a couple days and it's still keeping great time perfect date i love it you can grab and go um, as far as the bezel is concerned, feels really nice. You've also got your loom pip on the bezel. If I shake it around, it's really tight. I mean, Citizen did really good with the quality of this watch. Absolutely high quality. I really like this knurling here on the bezel because it makes it super easy to grip if your hands are wet with gloves or without gloves, I have never had a problem using this bezel ever. Another absolutely amazing thing that I love about this is the orange hour hand or the orange minute hand is ridiculously easy to see what time it is. The dial is not cluttered at all. It's solar, so you don't really have to worry about the battery. It just kind of takes care of itself. And that's the best part about this watch. You just, you don't really have to do a lot with it. You just wear it and enjoy it. And for a watch that is currently $260 on Amazon, I'm sure you can even find it cheaper somewhere else. This thing is an absolute steal. It's got weight to it. It's got this super nice case and case back, screw down case back. Part of how you know it's a quality watch. Doesn't look like some stamped piece of crap, right? So. I mean, I have a G-Shock, and I mean, I love G-Shock, but don't get me wrong, but this case back <laughs> is a cheap stamps little case back, right? You don't have to deal with that with the Citizen. You got your water resistance, 200 meters, which is way more than you're ever gonna need as a normal civilian diver, right? This rubber band is super comfortable. It doesn't hold water. Some rubber bands, um, Specifically Barton straps, now don't get me wrong, I love Barton watch straps. Specifically the rubber ones, they are probably the most comfortable straps I've ever worn. But the Barton rubber straps, and let me see if I have one just sitting over here. Here's part of a blue one. So these Barton rubber straps, while being the most comfortable straps I have ever worn, they hold water <laughs> inside of them. So if you ever swim or dive with them, when you come out of the water, you're gonna have a whole bunch of water just kind of like making weird noises and stuck in your watch band, which is super strange. So highly recommended for casual wear, not super recommended for actual swimming in the water. Um, I'm not sponsored by them or anything, none of that stuff. I just, I like their bands because they're comfortable. But uh, this band, super comfortable also. Um, does have some stretching capability, dries out really quick, clasp is really secure. Um, Actually, I'll put it on for you guys really quick. So you can see here. So I have a six and a half inch wrist, roughly. And here's the watch on my wrist, right? It's basically the perfect size that you could ask for for a dive watch. The value for money here is absolutely insane. 
for the quality that you're getting. If you want to get a dive watch and just experiment with the timing of your dive, like, all right, let's go type thing, then this is the one to get. If you want to be some fancy person that has some crazy automatic watch, that's fine too. That's totally fine. We all have our own thing. But if you just want the epitome of function and quality for a good price, so you can go diving and feel like you have this as a backup tool, this one's it. This one's the guy. Uh, additionally, on the strap, you have these Navy dive limit charts. This is completely useless and I kind of wish it wasn't here, but I also don't really ever notice it while I'm wearing the watch, right? Uh, when I first got it, I was like, man, that's kind of an eyesore, but you literally never notice it. I mean, and if you can see, as I've been holding and turning the watch around this whole time, this watch is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Even with all the little dings and scratches, that's how you know it's tough. This thing has been all over underwater, salt, all kinds of stuff. The only care it has gotten is a light rinse after getting out. This thing's a beast. Uh, if we're going to look at some dimensions really quick, let's see. You got 10.7 millimeters thick. And then we got about 43 millimeters diameter. And then for your strap, you got 22 millimeters. So good size for diving. Sticks to your wrist really well. No major issues there. This is a beautiful watch. This is my only solar powered watch and it's great, I love it. Um, if you get it in the right light, you can kind of see that black outline there. That's where the solar panel is, right in the middle. You can, so if you look at the edge of the indices, you can barely see the outline. So that's your solar charging area in the middle there. And yeah, overall, this is just a great watch. Cannot fault it at all. It is absolute value for the money. It's a tool. You can use it for normal work. You can use it for diving, swimming, whatever you want. It comes in this cool little Pro Master case. It also comes with a five-year warranty. So if you have any issues, they will fix it. And Citizen is actually really good with their warranty stuff from what I've heard. So if you ever have any issues with it, they will fix you up right away. Another great thing about this watch is the loom. The loom is great and I really enjoy it. Let me charge this up really quick and I'll show you guys a light loom shot. All right, so we'll turn this slide off and we'll turn this slide off. All right, so see how bright that is? And I don't even have the lights all the way off. Underwater, this thing is obscenely legible. You can read this so well, even in extremely dark, cloudy water, it is great. And the thing that I really like, some people don't like multicolored loom in their watches, but this watch in particular, your loom pip being green is so useful because you have this giant arrow that is really legible. And when you're just glancing down at your wrist for your time, say you're up here now or say you've been down for like 10 minutes, something like that. It's so easy. You have, you just look for the green pip and then you look for the giant arrow. It literally cannot get any simpler than that. And that is literally what makes this watch probably the easiest dive watch to use ever. As you get more comfortable underwater and start being able to assess your headspace and things like that, you can, um, do whatever you want, honestly. You can always do whatever you want. But for me, specifically when I was starting out, this was so helpful. And the first time I used a watch that didn't have this, I was honestly confused for a little bit when I glanced down because it was all blue and I had to sort through all the numbers of the loomed bezel. Just having the single green pip and the giant arrow on the minute hand makes this an extremely useful tool watch, extremely useful for diving. I highly, highly recommend it. And I highly recommend this watch overall. If you guys have any questions or would like to know any more about this watch, let me know. It's a phenomenal watch. Have a great day, everyone.
This is Steve from Random Watch Reviews.